I hope you guys liked that theme park video. It was fun to make. And uh, after doing like a long kind of walkthrough kind of video, it was like 18 minutes long, I thought I would do something more easygoing and simple. These are just like random odd thoughts that I have. I have like different thoughts that I think could make for a good video. And I comb through these thoughts to get video ideas, but I don't think I could stretch them out enough for a whole video. So I thought I would compile ideas like that and just make an entire video of just me giving like random Oz thoughts, like different like hot takes I have or opinions or just random questions or thoughts, just complete random stuff. Just to see if anybody else like agrees with me or has asked the same questions. And I mean, 2020 is like horrible, so you might as well just watch this random guy give random thoughts about a franchise from 1900. Okay, thought number one. This is kind of a hot take, I guess. No, it's not really a hot take, because I don't know how people feel about it. But I absolutely hate, in Oz Media, when they make Oz into something that it isn't. And here's what I mean by this. In the, um, Lost in Oz, the cartoon, it was like CG, it was on Amazon, I don't know if any of you guys watched it. But, uh, how they do Oz, basically, the reason Oz was the way it is, the way we all know it, is because it was like old times, I guess, like the 1900s when Dorothy went there. And in this show, it's modern times, and Dorothy's gran uh, granddaughter goes to Oz, and Oz is now all like futuristic and stuff. Oz just like has massive like subways and monorails and it has like technology and I always hate the idea of technology or that kind of advancement in Oz. I feel like Oz wouldn't have that much advancement. I feel like it wouldn't like age like Earth does, like how on Earth we get, you know, technology and life changes around that technology. But in Oz, I feel like it's a certain way and the more you make it like Earth, the less charm it has, because then it loses that, like, utopian aspect and that escapism aspect. And in so many Oz adaptations, it feels like Oz is just Earth, but it has a few yellow bricks, and that's pretty much just... That's the only difference, and maybe a few witches here and there, but it's so much more than that, I feel like. I feel like Oz just doesn't change like that. Like, technology in Oz just feels wrong. There's no juxtaposition, there's no, like, duality to the real world in Oz when you do that kind of stuff. It's the same thing when they, like, explain stuff in Oz. Like, if they try to try to explain how the yellow bricks came to be, or how, they, how, how magic came into Oz. Like, I don't want to know any of that, because in a lot of ways, the more you know about Oz, the less magical it is. Like, the more, like, lore and history... Because sometimes, like, I don't want to know how the yellow bricks got there. I don't want to know why there's magic in Oz. I just... It... Oz is... It relies on imagination a lot. And when you do that kind of stuff, I feel like you just sort of... You lose that kind of imagination when you over-explain everything. It's like, oh, Oz was just like the real world. And then it was like gravel. And then they put yellow brick over it. And... They put magic and now it's like Oz and it's, I don't like that. I do sometimes wonder if the popularity of the MGM movie will fade and if there will ever be an actual remake of the original Oz story. Because obviously the MGM movie has been like the most famous and most watched movie of all time. For a long time. But I feel like culture, as of late, with the internet, culture, I feel, is not as... It's not quite as connected. With the internet, it seems like media and content is kind of digested very... Not necessarily totally separate, separately, but a lot more separately than it used to be. Like back then, The Wizard of Oz was a huge event and everyone knew about it. And everyone, like, 
pretty much everyone, every family, like, would know The Wizard of Oz is going to come on. It would be a huge event, and it would come on once a year on TV. But nowadays, people, there's DVDs, there's the Internet, there's all these kinds of different medias that people can access. And it's not like an event anymore where The Wizard of Oz is going to come on once a year. And I mean, obviously, it's always going to be a huge, famous movie because it's it's so revolutionary and so influential and iconic. But I do wonder if the popularity will wane a little bit because of these changes in culture. And if, because of that, it'll allow people to not put... Um, or to not regard the idea of a remake as so blasphemous. If my little, like, hypothesis, if that happened, it'd be really interesting because I think if they did make a remake of the movie, it could be really big, and it could restart the Oz franchise. Only bad thing about that is that the Oz franchise would get this huge fandom, and as, even though that, that could spur some great content and some great conversations, I really do like how the, the fandom at the moment is very small in comparison because so many fandoms get out of control, like Star Wars and stuff like that, and it just kind of ruins the experience, and I never want that to happen to Oz. Oz the Great and Powerful is like, it's kind of underrated. It definitely has flaws, and I think there was some wasted potential there. But I think that could have been like a really fleshed out Oz franchise, because it has the perfect start, like having how the wizard got into Oz, and just like having that whole setup. I think there was more that could have been done. And even if they didn't want to redo the Wizard of Oz story, because, you know, to general audiences, uh, redoing the MGM story is like, you know, blasphemy, you can't do that. They could have skipped over that and done some other stories, I think. Because Sam Raimi, I think he's probably one of my favorite directors, and I think you can tell he really loves The Wizard of Oz. And I don't know. I think there was more potential there. I liked a lot of the scenery, and I loved that the final, like the climax of the movie wasn't like a generic, like, oh, big final battle, and... It was the wizard using his wit and tricking the witch. That was really smart. I loved that finale. Here's something I wonder. Does outer space exist in Oz? Because I know in the books it, it kind of seems like the answer to where Oz is is that Oz is on Earth, but it's blocked off by the desert, the deadly desert. But let's say that's not right. Because... I always kind of wonder, is Oz like a parallel, is it universe, is it like this thing that's unobtainable, you can't walk to or anything, it's just kind of, it's like the storms open up some kind of vortex, and then that's how you get to it, and that's the only way you can get to it, or is it like, I heard someone say a theory that um, the tornado is like the, 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 the world being like twisted and morphed around and the world becomes Oz which doesn't seem accurate for a few story reasons, but it's interesting to think about. But it, I don't know, it's just interesting. Like, if Oz really is a parallel, like, its own universe, does it have, like, outer space? Does it, like, go beyond the depths of itself? I don't know. It's interesting to think about. Here's a thought. How big is Oz? Like, do you guys think it's, like, the size of a state or the size of a country or maybe a middle ground, because I know there's certain books that kind of answer it, but I don't know if it's, like, an official, canonical answer. I remember there's one book where they concluded that it's a little bigger than, this, than the state of Massachusetts, which is interesting. It's, it, it's kind of interesting that Oz might not be, like, a country, because it, it feels like a country, like the size of a country, but it's more, like similar to the size of a state. I don't know, it's interesting to me. But it does kind of make sense because there's only so many landmarks within the stories. Like, there's there's Emerald City, there's Munchkin Land, Quadling Country, China Country, the usual stuff. So it kind of makes sense it's not like a whole country because if it was, I think we would see uh, a bit more than just that, that usual stuff. I still want... An Oz video game. I talked about this already, but it'd be so cool to just have like free realm 
on an Oz video game and just go crazy with it. And you could be so, like, explorative, and you could, like, a virtual simulator of Oz. You could just go through the entire land in a, a free realm game. That would be such a good idea. Like, I think even people who aren't interested in Oz would be, like, really interested in that kind of fantasy setting. And I just wish it would happen. There's so much potential for it. Okay, ever think about this? Dorothy is technically the strongest, like, power, most powerful movie character or, or book character of all time. Because, I mean, once she gets the slippers, she can basically do whatever she wants. This one's pretty common. This is, like, a common question, but... I really do wonder where Scarecrow got that gun. Like, did the wizard give it to him? Did one of the Emerald City citizens give it to him? Like, where did he get it? It seems like the MGM movie is one of the only versions of Oz where, like, guns exist. Because I, I haven't read every Oz books, I, but I don't, I don't remember guns ever being mentioned. And I don't remember seeing them in any other movie or cartoon. So it's, it's interesting that the MGM movie is the only piece of Oz media where I see guns, because Scarecrow has them and some of the Munchkins have them. And that's kind of an, another question. Like, if the Munchkins just shot the witch, would it kill her? Because it, it seems like water is her only weakness. But then again, her sister got killed by a house. So, I mean, I guess she could also get killed by outside sources. I don't know. Much to think about. Hey there, Video Vault of Oz. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and follow my social media in the description.